hey guys welcome back to this lecture and in this lecture we are talking about the data types in a php programming language the php supports the several types of data type some of them are a scalar data types some of them are a components type and some of them are the special type but here in this lecture or in this stage we are talking about the scalar data types in a php programming language which are boolean integer float and string let's first talking about the integer data type the integers data types are the whole numbers without the decimal points number let's suppose you have to write like uh, minus 2 plus 2 or here you have to write 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is called the integer types number which is from 0 up to 9 hope so you understand now that what are the integer data types in a php programming language let's just turn to the boolean data type the boolean data types which have the only two types which are the true and the false if the statement is true so that will result the value which is true if the statement is false the resultant value here is false then we have the float points number inside this float point number let's suppose you have to write minus 5 6 1 2 or you have to write plus 5 6 1 2 which is point 2 0 0 and then you have to write point 2 0 0 when you are adding the points here between the ta uh, between the int uh, numbers so this is called the float numbers then we have the string types which are you can write your string let's suppose abc xyz or any of the name right here hope so you understand now that these are the some kinds of data types in a php programming language here you can see that let's suppose i'm just writing php and then here i have to close this and then here i just write let's suppose dollar and here I just write this is integer right here, which is equal to here I just write that this is one to three, which is a decimal point, so decimal numbers. Okay. Now here you can see that I just write variable underscore dump here, and here I just simply pass the variable of integer right here. So this is how we are getting the integer numbers right here. Now here let's suppose I just create float numbers so here you can see that i have to write this as the float and then here you can see that i have to write like one to three point one to three which is the point number right here okay so here is write that this is the float numbers as well then here we have to write uh some of the strings as well so you can see here i have to write this is a string then you have to write that this is a string variable and here i have to write this as the string as well hope so you understand now that these are some of the string data type at the last you can see here i'm just creating the booleans value which are you can say that this is true and here i just write integer which is bool and here this is also integer which is boolean right here hope so you understand now here you can see that these are the sum of the data types what we studied about these in a php so here you can see that firstly we have the integer type then we have the float type then a string so you can see here this is a string right here and at the last you can see this is a boolean right here so these are the sum of the data types and how you can declare this this is up to you you can see here integer float strings and boolean as well hope so you understand now this lecture if you find any problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture